Hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video of course. If you're new here, welcome. If you like perfumes, if you like beauty, skincare, fashion, all that girly girly stuff, then you are at the right place. Okay guys, so I have a massive, massive haul for you today. Um, some fragrances have been sent to me from PR, some I have bought myself, so I have a very nice collection of things to show you. Um, most of them are quite new releases, so it's very exciting and yeah, let's just go ahead and jump right in and before we do, of course, hit that bell, subscribe and follow me on Instagram. All right guys, so I don't even know what to start with. I think if we would count the 15 milliliters samples, then I probably have over 20 perfumes here to show you. So I'm just gonna kind of breeze through them, unlike usually where I talk a lot about the fragrance, even in a haul. I'm just gonna be a little bit more, you know, a little bit more short and sweet, so to speak. So I think I'm gonna start with the biggest package that I received from Swiss Arabian. And I know that many of you guys really like the brand. I love the brand as well. I have been purchasing their fragrances way, 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 way before they even reached out to me. Of course, you guys know I have a lot of favorites from the brand and they have recently um, released a new collection, which is a very luxurious collection. It looks amazing, I must say. And this is the box that I received. This is the PR box, but I'm pretty sure you can as well purchase it from their website. I'll double check. But yeah, this is the WAAW collection and all the numbers and engravings on the bottles do have a special meaning. I'm not gonna get into it too much today because you know, I would be here for two hours. Uh, but as I review the fragrances by themselves, I will surely mention it a little bit more. So yes, this is how the box looks like. And inside we've got uh, eight eight new fragrances and one full-size bottle, which I also have a smaller sample right here. So in total, they have released eight new fragrances and I must say there are some gems in here, all right? So I do have a little leaflet to help me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna start sniffing guys because I'm very excited. I didn't wanna test uh, these fragrances without you. Basically all these fragrances that I have here, unless I had a sample prior to this haul, I did not sniff just so I have a clear first impression on camera. So yes, let's go ahead and jump right in with Swiss Arabian. Uh, so this is the Heritage series and we have three oud fragrances, one rose, two musks and two ambers. And I must say guys, just come on, look at this little sample size which is 15 milliliter, very decent. And look how it looks, it's amazing. They really put their work into it, I must say. So the first thing I'm gonna test is Oud 01, this one. And here we've got raspberry, violet, cumin, Turkish rose, cardamom, lily of the valley, amber, leather, and oud. So this is a very nice combination. It's definitely gonna smell Middle Eastern. Ooh, and I really like it. I must say this is a very soft, beautifully blended oud. You know, it's sweet, it's not too harsh. It's, I would say if you like oud, this is a perfect everyday one. So pretty. I actually need to spray it on my hand. I know I'm gonna probably regret that because I have so many fragrances to go through, but I love it. I lost the cap already. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, wow. I definitely do get a lot of that raspberry. Um, it's smooth from the leather, but it's not like, you know, that old 
handbag like leather it's like just a nice anchor okay this one oud number one is fantastic i must say i really like it very very nice okay so so far so good let's go with oud number seven so i'm pretty sure the numbers of the fragrances also mean something specific because it's not like number one number two it's one seven and then we have 74 so yeah I, I probably should read a little bit more oh additionally we have used the numbers 1 7 and 74 for the different offerings in the series number one was chosen as we are the first perfume manufacturing company to be set up in the uae the number seven represents the number of emirates that make up the uae and uh, 74 represents the year Swiss Arabian was established so there we have it okay numbers do matter by the way seven is my astrological number I'm very attached to that number it's my lucky number forever and always so uh, I hope oud number seven is gonna be my oud all right I'm just gonna say that so yeah let's go for oud number seven we've got saffron rose then we have praline aki gala wood white amber and oud and then in the very dry down we've got vanilla and mask so you know just from the notes it probably might resemble oud bouquet a little bit because of that praline so let's see it definitely does but it's much lighter like so much more wearable to be honest upon the first sniff because to me oud bouquet it's a beautiful scent but actually even for me it's quite hard to wear like especially for every day this is a fragrance that i rarely can pull off because when i would go to like meetings and work stuff um it's just too much the only place that i could wear it is probably a party like a nightclub or something because even in a restaurant it kind of meshes with the smell of food and eh, it's not good okay but this it's like a fresher lovelier take on oud bouquet as much as i love oud bouquet i think i prefer that one okay Number seven still is my number. Very, very lucky fragrance. Oud number seven to me is actually 10 out of 10. I love it. Lovely one. This is lovely because, you know, if you like the DNA of Oud Bouquet or Vel Velvet Rose and Oud from Jo Malone, I think this actually might be our new favorite here. Honestly. So, yeah. Oud number seven. Lovely. All right. Nair next we've got 74 and i think it's going to be heavy af because we've got indian oud indian oud malaysian oud indian oud amber sweet notes so there is a heavy dose of oud here if you if you haven't gathered um yeah and even the juice is way darker than the rest so i'm almost scared to sniff it but let's go Ooh. okay at, at the very first sniff it is a little bit sour you know when there is a heavy dosage of oud there can be that sour punch to it but i definitely do get praline and that oud itself actually it's very nice i wouldn't say it's too much I mean it's definitely a heavy fragrance don't get me wrong and it's like woody to the max but it still is quite wearable i think the souriness is the only thing that kind of you know bugs me but i think as it settles down i'm gonna put it aside and i think when it settles down those sweet notes and amber are gonna come up more so I'm gonna keep it by the end of the video I'm gonna sniff it again all right so next we've got amber 01 and amber 01 oh by the way I sprayed this like a couple minutes ago right this was the first fragrance I reviewed and look how damn oily my hand is 
very good quality i must say of these fragrances and yeah just everything is nice here nice i'm very very excited about this collection because when those middle eastern brands do those you know heritage slash luxury collections they are always so bomb like so so bombs and yeah this one is no exception so amber 01 there we go let's see what we have here we've got mandarin black peppercorn rose jasmine cashmere patchouli cedarwood amber and vanilla and i can tell you straight away this is a very citrusy cologne amber this to me definitely leans masculine like a nice fresher but still with some depth masculine fragrance i think i would really love it on my men yeah nice but not too feminine for me but in general lovely all right then we've got amber 07 and in amber 07 we've got cinnamon dates amber the start is you know already i i'm i think i'm gonna like it then we've got rose ylang ylang and oris okay so there's gonna be some powderiness and then we've got vanilla sandalwood incense and patchouli so yeah i'm guessing this one is gonna be quite heavy as well and again the juice is darker than the rest just like with the last oud oh this one is marvelous <laughs> Oh, wow, guys. Absolutely stunning, this one. I am in love. Almost leans gourmand. I kind of also get like a little bit of a coffee-ish scent to it. I'm guessing it's the combination of cinnamon and dates, you know, and the powderiness, but it's lovely. Oh, this one I think is going to be my another favorite. Amber 07, I don't want to dwell on it too much because we have a lot to go through. But Amber 07 is another 7, that's my favorite. Coincidence? Hmm, I don't think so. I don't think so. See, it works. It works. When you believe in something, it manifests. So Amber 07, another 10 out of 10 for me. I am in love. Um, then we've got Mask 01 and in Mask 01 we've got Bergamot, Pink Pepper and Elemi, Orange Blossom, Lily, Mask, Tonka, Vanilla and Sandalwood. So yeah, I'm guessing it's gonna be quite clean of a mask, but let's see. By the way, the sprayers are very nice. Oh, this reminds me of childhood. This reminds me of childhood so much. I definitely get orange blossom, mask of course, um, bergamot for sure. This is that beautiful, very Middle Eastern mask. I'm, I don't know how to explain it, but it just smells like Middle East to me in the cleanest way possible. Like, like a beautiful Middle Eastern woman, you know? This is the scent that I remember from my childhood when I would travel there and all those beautiful fragrances will just mesh together and this is, this is the profile that I remember the most. Beautiful, a little bit powdery, floral, clean, sweet, amazing. Okay, so Mask 01 is very, very nice. Another 10 out of 10 for me, to be honest. And then we have Mask 07 and in Mask 07 we've got quite a bit of fruits. We've got pomegranate and black currant. Then we've got rose and lily of the valley, patchouli and mask in the dry down. So I'm very excited for this one because maybe it's going to be perfect for summer. Oh, oh, this is lovely. This is lovely. You know how it smells like kind of? It smells like all those fresher, rosy, fruity fragrances from Dior's private collection. That's what I picture. Like, you know, Rouge Trafalgar, 
very nice very nice this one and another seven that is a massive 10 out of 10 for me i'm definitely gonna enjoy this and i think straight away i can tell you now i definitely want to get a full bottle of mask 01 mask 07 and amber 07 and some ooze that's that's also quite quite for sure i'm gonna get some all right and last but not least we've got the rose and the rose only has one fragrance one number and here we've got lychee bergamot and pink pepper then we've got bulgarian rose peony nutmeg vanilla musk and cashmere wood so from the notes does it remind you of something because to me it really does so I'm gonna spray it from the full bottle since I have it I want to try it I want to use it the bottle is absolutely stunning I must say it has this nice indentation to it and the cap is of course fantastic with all those you know symbols <laughs> lovely lovely and it's rose gold always good to have something rose gold let's see okay <laughs> this really reminds me of the lena from parfums the marley but kind of like greener and fresher oh it has this same yummy structure to it Oh, this one is gonna be amazing, amazing. I cannot wait to wear it. I cannot wait to wear it. Oh, okay. So guys, in general, upon my first sniffs, this collection is absolutely gorgeous. Um, the fragrances that are my favorites, I like them all, don't get me wrong. I like them all, but I think my um, absolute gems would be Rose 01, of course. Oud 07, Mask 07, Amber 07, so all the sevens are and also you absolutely have to try Mask 01 as well. If you love Middle Eastern masks, very feminine, I think you're gonna love it. In general, lovely, lovely collection. I'm so happy to have it. So thank you so much to Swiss Arabian team. We've got some uh, problems in regards to shipping because of my local post office, but it's here finally. So I'm very, very happy to have it and I will surely review it as we go along. So yeah, and that oud, it's still quite sour. So still not sure about that. All right. Now I'm gonna just bring my big basket and maybe I'm gonna go with things that I purchased myself. Uh, one is already unboxed, I'm sorry. It's a little bit nasty of me, but I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait. I tried not to test it, so yeah. Uh, here we have the one that you guys told me so many times to get, and that is Carolina Herrera um, Good Girl Supreme. And first of all, I'm very happy. Is my lash coming off? I don't know. But I'm having a absolutely terrible allergic reaction to my eyeshadows. I was doing my makeup with eyeshadows that I haven't used for a long time from Too Faced, Born This Way, you know, that palette, it's so lovely, but my eyes started burning, I started crying, and I kind of feel like I'm a mess now, but I hope it's not really translating on a camera. Anyways, let me have a sip of my tea. And let's move on so with Carolina this is like this fruity sexy version of the original and so many of you guys told me I'm gonna love it so here it is and I definitely do it's very very nice I did spray it once or twice I'm not gonna lie this one I did spray um, but now it feels a little bit different to when I smelt it a couple days ago it's like a little bit doughy, like vanilla Play-Doh. And those beautiful berries, whatever there, whatever there is, like I think forest berries, they said. Lovely one, this. I, I think it's lovely. I still don't know about the longevity. Uh, for now, my favorites are Leger and Very Good Girl, but 
this one might be another absolute great purchase and I have never thought that I'm gonna love good girls so much but I am definitely on a roll with them it's a good one and I really really like it so far so good I'm still gonna test it test the longevity but I think it is gonna be a very successful purchase for spring and summer I think it's gonna work very very well for spring now so yeah uh, good girl supreme fantastic one really like it next fragrance that you guys really wanted me to try you guys said I mean so many of you uh, said that this is absolutely fantastic it's so so nice so here we have uh, Chloe the new one Nomad Eau de Parfum Naturel and I got 50 ml just because, you know, I'm trying to downsize the bottle, bottles I'm purchasing because it's getting hectic um, on my shelves. So, yeah. But, you know, I really like the concept that it's natural origin, it's vegan, it's naturally delivered alcohol. So, you know, it's just a little bit more nature conscious, the line. So, I didn't get the... Chloe Chloe because uh, they do have the Nature Naturel um, version uh, but I heard it doesn't last at all and with this one the opinions are quite mixed so maybe it will last on me let's see so this is how the packaging looks like I really love the new um, engraving and we have the same engraving on the bottle as you guys hopefully can see like around here so yeah very very lovely presentation and now let's see how it smells because i'm really excited first of all it doesn't smell like nomad like at all uh, maybe slightly maybe slightly but to me it's way more how do i say it um, it's way more like incense herbal. I think that's the right description. Yeah, it's like still floral, still that plummy, mirable plum hue to it, but it's way more like smoky. But I definitely do like it. It's very interesting in my opinion. So you guys were definitely right. I think it's going to be amazing addition to my collection. Um, I would say this is an everyday scent it's beautiful it's quite airy but has a depth has some darkness to it as well but not in like a sexy sweet way it's definitely savory of a scent it's not that sweet I love it I love it very very nice I just hope that the lasting power is gonna be good because I'm not sure yet but Yes, lovely bottle, like all nomads. So now I have Absolute and I have Au Naturel. So maybe I will add on the original since I've never had it. Yeah, I think it's actually a good idea, isn't it? To have all three. So yes, here we have Nomad Au Naturel. And now we can move on to few things that I'm... I mean, I'm excited about all of them, let's be honest. But this one is like my discovery okay is my current discovery i am head over heels in love with it and i think you will be too because it is let's say it's niche i mean this is a designer brand from poland can you believe it <laughs> finally um this is a designer brand from poland they do have a very nice concept of a brand i do really like their pieces to wear from ready to wear um, and I must say that their fragrance collection is incredible, incredible. Also, their prices are not bad. So like massive winner for me. And there are many that I liked, but this one was a love, 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 love. And I did test it at the store. And I must say this one lasted with me on my hand until the very, very late evening. So it was good eight hours. And that one is from Boho Boko. And this is, as I said, Polish designer duo. And they 
have had those perfume lines um, for a while now and I don't know why I never picked it up. This one is called Sea Salt Caramel. And guys, first of all, I didn't want to unbox it. I only took the foil off so I don't make a sound, but it's so nicely packaged. I want to show you. Like, look how pretty. Of course, this is, you know, like a paper, but still so, so pretty. So let me take it out. It literally looks like a Prezi. So nice. All right, <laughs> enough of that bullshit of mine. And let me just unwrap it literally it feels like it's my birthday and i'm i'm making noises anyway sorry let me just tear it apart so the packaging i think you're gonna love a look this is velvet by the way this is like a nice fluffy shiny velvet it's gonna catch on so much gunk i know it like dust everything but it looks exquisite so this is how the bottle looks like as you can see juice is surprisingly purple and with sea salt caramel I think this is at the moment my favorite summer-ish fragrance if you love fragrances like Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford or I don't know terracotta all those you know summery sun tan lotions salty vanillas oh oh let me tell you sea salt and caramel what else do you want guys so let me spray it just to remind myself of this beauty this is so beautiful this is so beautiful i just cannot but I must say paper does not give it justice. Also, I know it has to lay for a week in my stash. Uh, so it actually, you know, comes out blooming. Um, guys, if there was a problem with the microphone, the sound malfunction, I'm very sorry. I don't look into the viewfinder because some people accuse me of being vain when I do. So I just noticed that my microphone was in my shirt. So yeah. I hope it's good now. Uh, anyway, Cecil Caramel. And as I was saying before this happened, uh, you do have to let your fragrance lay for a bit, especially when it's been on the road for a while. You know, you just have to let it settle and marinate in your home environment. Uh, because then all those molecules will shine better. So with sea salt and caramel, it definitely does um, smell better on the skin. So I'm just going to spray it. It's absolutely gorgeous, guys. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's salty, slightly aromatic, slightly floral, sweet, but not too sweet. A little bit powdery, but also not too much. It's vanilla, salt, caramelly. It's quite marine as well. It's gonna be absolutely beautiful for summertime. I can assure you. Absolutely beautiful. So yes, Boho Boko Sea Salt Caramel. It is a massive, massive winner for me. And yeah, I cannot wait to wear it. So now I also have a little sample of a live intense from hugo boss so i'm just gonna share my opinion with you i didn't like the original at all it to me it was just completely redundant unnecessary to have been launched just ridiculous sorry but that's my opinion and here we have raspberry vetiver and benzoin so maybe it will be a little bit better who knows but you know, with Hugo Boss, sometimes um, it's a massive miss for me. Ah, uh, no, <laughs> I don't think so. It's like a fresh raspberry um, with some vetiver indeed, and some like caramelly sugary sweetness from benzoin, but it's nothing that you haven't smelled before. Trust me, it's nothing you haven't smelled before. And that's very sad. So alive, it didn't make me feel alive. But 
we have four more fragrances to go guys i told you it's gonna be a long haul uh because i've got so much maybe i should have split it who cares i don't know uh, we have four fragrances from navitus and by the way if you guys do not know yet um don't forget to check out the website they have a massive sale on their new sample sets and you get such a great bang for your buck because you're literally getting all their fragrances in such a great price it's insane um, and also you have my discount code which i definitely encourage you to use because you are gonna get some money off your purchase and it's always nice uh, while it's still active uh, i really really hope you use it because Navitus Parfums is definitely my one of my favorite niche brands so far. So uh, when it comes to the new fragrances that I got, I got Champagne Royale, I got Arcanum. I did have a sample of Arcanum and I really wanted a full bottle of it, um, so I'm very happy. Uh, then I got Lyric, which used to be called a board, a bowed, something like that. Uh, now it's called Lyric. And then we have Soleil Maton, which has been uh, created by Francis Kurjan. So let's start with this one. And uh, Soleil Maton, I must say, it is a unisex fragrance, but it is a beautiful, citrusy, sexy fragrance. We've got mandarin, lime, lemon, orange and grapefruit. Then we've got jasmine, pepper, ginger. And then we have cedarwood, sandalwood, ambroxan and musk. And I am absolutely in love with it. So is my boyfriend. <sighs> Just amazing. Just amazing. Uh, we are definitely going to share it. The bottle looks like this. It's like um, completely um, opaque and it has matte glass and it is dark blue which is not my favorite for a bottle but it still looks nice on the counter so yeah this one is just beautiful it's citrusy it's invigorating uh, but it's also very very sexy and I must say for a citrus this one lasts forever it's so so long lasting and gr great sillage as well so if you want a very good long lasting citrus that you can share with your men maybe because it is very unisex i think soleil matin is going to be fantastic um, definitely one of my favorite citruses to date so that is that uh, then we have Lyric and Lyric has a completely different vibe. This is a super sexy and super sweet fragrance. And in Lyric we've got um, bergamot, lemon and cardamom. Then we have almond, jasmine, caraway and pepper. And in base we have toffee, cinnamon, olibanum and musk. And the perfumer behind it is Dominique Ropion. So... Um, yeah what else do you want the bottle i love so here is lyric and uh, ouch i oh it just fell on my big toe it hurts Whew. okay so with lyric we um i actually think that if it's still available because sometimes it's out of stock because i know that many people really like it um, but if it is in stock at the moment, of course, everything will be linked below. I think you should really get it straight away because this is such a unique, beautiful scent. It's just exquisite. So this to me is a warm, spicy toffee fragrance. <sighs> just amazing. Just amazing. They did such a great job with this one. It's sweet, it's sexy, still definitely unisex. You do get that beautiful nattiness from almond and that cardamom that I don't always love, but in here with that toffee, it is just exquisite. If you want something um, that is still appropriate for summer, I think, uh, but it's st still like slightly gourmand leaning. I think Lyric is going to be amazing and I do absolutely adore the bottle of it. So yes, guys, 
lyric is fantastic it has great lasting power as all Navitus fragrances have so definitely check it out uh, the next one is my absolute love I adore this fragrance and that is Arcanum and Arcanum has cinnamon coconut and frankincense tears lapidinum osmanthus and oud and then we have amberwood vanilla and tonka and the perfumer behind it is Jorge Lee or George Lee, I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, I adore this fragrance. As I said many times, this is the better version of Santal Complet from Fragrance de Bois, in my opinion. It is still creamy, sandalwoody, but it is more wearable, in my opinion. It's not as dry of a wood. To me, it's sweeter. Um, there is more of tropical touch here and of course you get a beautiful coconut just like in Santal Complet. So yeah, I think if you were craving Santal Complet, you definitely should get Arcanum first because in my opinion it lasts way better, it has better projection and it's way cheaper. So guys, like, come on, it's way, way, way cheaper. Um, so I think Arcanum is gonna be a godsend to all of you who do really want Santal Complet or maybe you have it and you don't wanna use it every day, but you still want something that will, you know, um, have the same profile. This is absolutely stunning. If you love amber, woody, vanilla coconut fragrances this is gonna be just for you i love it it's slightly incense you know because of that frankincense um also you have osmanthus so you have like slightly peachy of an accord amazing just amazing i don't want to talk about it too much but guys get it get it arcanum and lyric you have to get and last but not least from the whole haul, we've got Champagne Royale. And <laughs> this to me, as much as it is still unisex, I think it is going to be absolutely fantastic on a man, more so than on a woman. Uh, so here we have lemon, mandarin, French champagne and ginger. Then we've got plum, iris, cypress, cinnamon, nutmeg and geranium. And then we've got fir, balsam, uh, cedarwood and a leather. And yeah, guys, the bottle, again, beautiful. I love the bottle on this one. You know, I like my plain, easy colors. You know, I, I'm not a colorful kind of person. You know, my mind is too tornado in it to have so many colors in my life i like plain and simple so here we have champagne royale yeah and as i said um to me it is unisex but the very dry down definitely leans masculine and i love it i really really love it to me it's a very very sexy sparkling cologne scent it's gonna be absolutely beautiful on my men I'm very happy that I can gift it to him along with Soleil Martin and uh, the rest we're surely going to share. Um, so yes guys, Champagne Royale is the last one and that is it for today. My voice is almost gone. I don't know how long I've been talking but excuse me. So I really hope you enjoyed it so that is it guys thank you so 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 much for watching i know it was long but if you're still here it means you made it thank you all my efforts have been turned into success and see you in my next one bye